You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So, you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. From now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitellini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's imaginations. But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal! Unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no! Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. 
This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. Oh. What do you need? Day to you. the best prices around. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Ah. 
So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. This shovel looks recently used. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. Looks like someone dug here. Ha! <laughs> 
This was right. This is exactly what we needed. This must be Thespis's house. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. 
But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. I'm sorry, but you can't be trusted to live. to stay, but my cup's drained and I'm to perform tomorrow. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So? He's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. If you don't want to leave with your head stuffed up your asses, you'll go now. We'll be seeing you, Mistios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. He's not feeling too good. <laughs> he said, you're behind the mask. You'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong.
Thank you, but you can go no further, for I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. Soze Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this. I'll mess that pretty face right up. No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat? Like mother, like kid. You need to die. Stay out of sight. News. <laughs> hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No. Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? 
Commander Rexenor has made it clear. It would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you? Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Rexenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Rexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. 
You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon.
Until next time. I should try to stay out of sight. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes! You're right! So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg 
and implore you hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. 